So we're going to use the properties of inequalities, which we'll define in just a second, to help us establish equivalent inequalities. And so we're going to start, and I want to make it clear that any time I use an inequality symbol, they all work the same. So if I use a greater than, that means the same thing as a greater than or equal. It means the same thing as a less than and a less than or equal. So the addition property is easy. The addition property says if A is greater than B, and this also works for A is greater than or equal to B, A is less than B, or A is less than or equal to B, and I add some C to both sides of the inequality, then the inequality isn't changed. Adding and subtracting the inequality, oops, that should be a C, the inequality stays the same. So this becomes A plus C is greater than or equal to B plus C. This is A plus C is less than B plus C. And this is A plus C is less than or equal to B plus C. And so these very nice properties allow us to add or subtract to either side. And so this is really, 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 really simple. For instance, suppose if I have 3 is greater than negative 2. If I add 1 to both sides, 4 is still greater than negative 1. So adding and subtracting doesn't change any signs. However, with multiplication, we have to be careful. So there's two basic rules. And here I'm just going to write one. A is greater than B, and C is greater than 0. Then A times C is still bigger than B times C. But if a is greater than b, and c is less than 0, then a times c becomes less than b times c. In other words, if, I, if c is positive, it stays the same. But if it's negative, it changes. The side that is bigger is no longer bigger. And that's really, really, really important to make sure you get down correctly. So, what I'd like to do is just show two examples. Suppose 3 is greater than minus 2, and I multiply both sides by 2. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. The 6 is still bigger. But if 3 is greater than minus 2, and I multiply both sides by a negative 2, this gives me a negative 6 and a positive 4, and positive 4 is bigger than negative 6, so it switched directions. And as long as you keep track of this and you're careful about it, you will always get the right answer and the right equivalent equation.